Hello and welcome back. As always, Marmus Laser, and today we're talking about Tracer. We're gonna do a full build guide for her. If you're unfamiliar with my format, we're gonna go over each of her abilities, talk a little bit about them, after which we're gonna go get into talents, kinda analyze a little bit each individual tier, after which we're skipping this in gameplay, and at the very end, I'm gonna give you my overall thoughts on the hero. If you're not interested in all this talking, skip the gameplay button, should be available roughly around here, and for those of you watching from a mobile device, check the video description for the gameplay time. Now, with that out of the way, Tracer's abilities. First off, she's a ranged assassin classified as hard to play from the Overwatch universe. Her Q ability is blink charge cooldown is 6, dash towards an area and stores up free charges so that's 6 seconds per charge. You can burn all your charges at once but then you're gonna have to wait 18 seconds to get uh, all of them back. 6 per charge. Again, keep in mind this is a dash not a teleport meaning what? Meaning you cannot jump over walls no matter how thin they are. Moving on to W. W is melee on an 8 second cooldown deal damage to a nearby enemy. Prior Prioritizing heroes gain 5% pulse bomb charge when damaging an enemy and 10% against heroes. So it does prioritize heroes and pulse bomb is your heroic. We're gonna talk about that in a minute. Now melee is kind of fitting for this ability, the actual name, because you actually have to be in melee range to be able to use your W. E is recall and this is one of one of her most powerful abilities, I would argue even more powerful than her heroic. On a 24 second cooldown, return to the position you were at 3 seconds ago, refill your ammo and remove all negative status set effects from yourself. This is your get out of jail big card, okay? Normally Tracer can uh, escape tricky situations without the need of her recall but if something like an Illidan Haunt is cast on you or maybe a Tyrael Judgment, if you time your recall well enough you'll be able to completely escape that bad situation. So there you go, recall very important ability but on a considerable cooldown, 24 seconds. Uh, her trait is reload, 1 second cooldown on this one, you can basic attacks while moving and after attacking 10 times you need to reload over 0.75 seconds, you can manually reload early by activating reload, that's your D. Now the thing is Tracer actually shows as she would have 20 bullets, the thing is when she basic attacks once she fires both pistols at the same time, so both shots actually count as one hit, one basic attacks, but you will see she is shown as having 20 bullets, 10 per pistol, but again they uh, she fires them at the same time means one basic attack. Now let's talk about her one and only heroic which she start, uh, starts off with at level 1. Pulse Bomb. Fire a short range bomb that attaches to the first enemy hit it uh, any enemy units if you hit them. The bomb explodes after 1.5 seconds dealing damage to them and less uh, damage uh, in an AOE circle around the primary target or around where the bomb landed. This ability is slowly charged uh, over time by dealing damage to enemies with basic attacks and melee, again your W ability. Alright so that's it for her abilities, again keep in mind that this one has a very short range to it, you cannot use blink to jump over walls and recall should always be used wisely. Reload, uh, you can leave it on auto reload, okay, you cannot worry about it, but before engaging on an enemy, make sure you have your clip full. That's all there is to say about reload, we're gonna talk more when we get to reload talents. Alright, level 1, we got Pulse Strike, first option, increases melee's pulse bomb charge from 10% to 15% against heroes, this will cause, obviously, your heroic to charge faster, more heroics means more damage, means you're more of a pest. Very good option at level 1, but this is usually my go-to. Slipstream, reduces recoil Recall cooldown by 4 seconds and increases the amount of time recalled by 1 second. So normally you would be put back in the past 3 seconds, now you'll be put back in the past 4 seconds. Again, this amplifies even further your reload. This is an extremely powerful talent at level 1 for Tracer. Again, the cooldown will be reduced from 24 seconds to 20 seconds. It's an immensely powerful talent and overall an immensely powerful ability for Tracer. Tracer round, this is rather underwhelming. Uh, your basic attacks reveal enemies for 4 seconds. Oh, I would only recommend this one against Cloakers and not even even then. Okay, normally Tracer can stick to her target, no problem at all. And considering we got these two options, you should really ignore Tracer rounds, maybe against Cloakers, but not even then, not really. Again, you one, once the target is decloaked, you should be able to stick to it with no problem at all. Level 4, first option, Parting Gift. Uh, recall leaves behind three bombs that deal damage each two different targets, so they will not be able to damage the same target, very powerful ability in a 1v1, okay, in a 1v1, like for example, now everybody's playing Tracer, Tracer versus Tracer, you're gonna use this ability, you're gonna leave, a, or at least one of the bombs will deal damage to that, uh, to that enemy Tracer, and you'll be 
uh, free out of danger because you will no longer be in that position because you activate the recall obviously and so yeah again this amplifies your damage uh also very useful in a team fight because what you want to do as tracer in a team fight if possible okay if you're not gonna get insta destroyed which is red very easily because she's very low hp you want to kind of blink into the middle of the enemy team if possible okay you're uh, press your E, you recall out of there, okay, but you leave your bombs behind, okay, uh, also before recalling, ideally you want to hit your W ability as well, try to do a little bit of melee damage too. Uh, next option at level 4 is that a health pack increases uh, regeneration globe and healing fountain healing by 100% now this one currently is a tiny little bit bug uh, the healing fountain part works fine but I do believe the regen globe part doesn't really work all that fine okay I still get very little from regen globes uh, when should you pick this one up no support on your team in quick match well this is gonna give you some sustain now the best damage option at level 4 and also the most risky from my point of view is untouchable this is a snowball quest talent uh, takedowns increase your basic attack damage by 2% up to 30. Uh, however, these bonuses are lost on death. So you're gonna have uh, you're gonna have to get 15 takedowns to get the maximum out of this talent and try not to die. You might think it's easy to die as Tracer, right? Well, it highly depends on the enemy team composition and how many targeted CCs they got. And well, how skilled are you as a player and how smart are you on keeping your recall and actually timing it correctly? This is the most rewarding talent, but again, this is the uh, most tricky as well. It will matter for damage a whole lot. 15 takedowns is something, but keep in mind it's 2% per takedown. So the more uh, you would kind of get a benefit from 2, 3, 4, 5 takedowns, you're going to feel the damage amplification from this talent. Again, this is my favorite, but it's the most risky. In quick match, I usually end up going for is that a health pack when I do not have a support. Uh, and the safe option, if there was a safe option, is going to be part and gift. Guaranteed uh, increase in DPS, especially if you picked up Slipstream and you got a shorter cooldown on your E ability. Moving on to level 7. Jumper increases blink charges by 1. If you need another blink, again, the blink uh, range is fairly small. Think Tychus' dash, his E ability, okay, that's small. I think it's a tiny bit bigger, but I might be wrong. Uh, if you need a fourth blink, then absolutely Jumper is going to be the way to go. Uh, normally, I don't really find myself in situations when I could use another blink. Usually, two or three are more than enough to get in or out of a bad situation with Tracer. Uh, when you want to chase somebody, two, three blinks are enough. I don't Again, I don't really find the need for the fourth blink. Next option, bullet time. Basic attacks lower the cooldown of blink by 0.1 seconds. You will be able to blink um, a, a whole lot more often because keep in mind, you attack extremely, extremely quickly as Tracer. So, you'll knock uh, down cooldown down extremely effectively. Efficiently. However, again, uh, you don't you don't really need it from my point of view. The uh, six second cooldown per charge is pretty nice. <laughs> okay, I'll say that. Okay, it's pretty generous with tracer. Besides, the next option from my point of view is absolutely golden because it's guaranteed. Uh, spatial echo. Using recall grants two charges of blink. When are you going to use recall? This is what you should be asking. You. When am I going to use recall? Well, you're going to use recall for two reasons. One, you want to get out of of a bad situations, you're gonna need those guaranteed charges of blink. Tracer has no mana, okay? So you can perma spam your abilities, okay? You have no mana, you are only limited by ammo for your basic attacks, and that's about it. The rest, you are limited by cooldown, uh, by cooldowns, and uh, well, that's it. So again, uh, you're gonna use your e ability when you want to escape a bad situation, and then you will have those two charges of blink guaranteed. Or maybe you want to juke somebody, okay? Maybe you want you're on a one v one, you want to trick somebody. You're gonna blink behind them, re-engage on them with blink in, out, and so on and so forth. So from my point of view, at level seven, this is by far the best option to have for tracer because again, it ties very, uh, it ties in very elegantly. I would put it to when you would actually need. To use your recall bullet time is also cool don't get me wrong i don't really find the need for jumper i would stay away from this one these two uh, again my recommendation spatial echo at level 10 we have amplifications for our heroic ability we don't get to choose a different one but we do get to amplify it sticky bomb increases pulse bomb radius by 50 percent and enemies hit are slowed by 60 percent for three seconds when is this useful this is useful against melee heavy team compositions enemy team got that gray main going into wolf and maybe a frawl and maybe even an Illidan, unlikely as that may be, you may find yourself in such situations, then Sticky Bomb is going to help you out a lot. Melees, which are slowed, CC, crowd control, okay, are not very efficient, and again, you are range. let's keep that in mind, okay, you can stay away from them, them being slowed is going to be easy for you to harass, and well, harass them to death, pretty much. So again, I would only pick this one up against melee heavy team compositions, next option, Quantum Spike Pulse Bomb deals an additional 10% of the primary target's maximum health to be picked up against beefy team compositions, especially against the Chogol. They got a Chogol, just pick up this 
this one, okay? It's scary going in close to a choke all. Um, she's got a very tiny model. Even the image of it looks kind of a little bit intimidating because the Cho'Gal is like this and you're like this, okay? Uh, but yeah, against the Cho'Gal, definitely pick up Quantum Spike. But the best option, okay? The option you cannot go wrong with, from my point of view, is Pulse Rounds. Increases Pulse Bomb range and uh, charge rate from basic attacks against heroes by a whopping 150%. So not only will you be able to charge it faster and therefore use it more times, but the range is also uh, greatly increased. Normally the range, again, Fig Titus is dash. That's kind of the range on your Pulse Bomb normally. With this, you're gonna have some decent range to it, okay? You will no longer have to get in that close to the target to actually be sure you're gonna stick it to somebody, okay? It's a lot easier and a lot safer uh, to land your your um your heroic with the increased range also the the fact that you get to charge your heroic uh, a lot faster means you're gonna be able to use it uh multiple t mo more times in an actual game so there you go from my point of view pulse rounds is the way to go for tracer overall gives the best damage uh level 13 or should at least it's gonna depend on you how efficient you are at actually well harassing and keep on attacking while staying alive level 14 i know i rambled on i'm sorry uh level 13 bullet spray first option increases melee's radius by 50 percent and causes it to damage all enemies in range now keep in mind you you might already be thinking well that means that i'm gonna get a lot more uh charge for my pulse bomb right wrong okay you still get the base amount so if you're gonna hit a hero you're still gonna get 10 percent if you're gonna hit only minions you're still gonna get five percent so you can hit like three heroes that doesn't mean you're gonna get 30 percent so just keep that in mind the range increase 50 percent this helps with wave clear tracer inherently has zero wave clear okay she's got only single target Practically, okay, this gives you some nice wave clear, some nice heavy damage from teamfights, because again, in a teamfight, if you have the opportunity, the window, to actually blink into the middle of, of their team, okay, do your W, maybe even leave the pulse bomb and get the hell out of town, you're gonna do some sig significant damage to them, and you're also you're gonna be a pain. Uh, which is uh, what kind of tracer is all about at this point. So definitely a very good option at this level. Next one, Ricochet. Your basic attacks have a 50% chance to hit uh, another nearby enemy prioritizing heroes. I played around this one this, with this one. This is absolutely underwhelming at this point. I would definitely not recommend it. I find very little use for it. Nah. Overall, just nah. Uh, Leeching rounds, this one, however, is pretty nice. Uh, when? When is this one good? This one is good when you are, again, you're playing your quick match uh, and you don't have any support. Or maybe you're playing Hero League, Team League, whatever, and you chose to go for a Tassadar support. Tassadar plus Tracer equals love. Let me make that uh, perfectly clear. Leeching ground is going to help you a lot. Your basic attacks against heroes heal you for 20% of their damage dealt. You might think, wow, 20% is a lot. Keep in mind that Tracer doesn't do that much with her basic attacks. She does, however, do a lot of them in a short amount of time so these are the options from my point of view if i got a decent support or a support i can trust i'm gonna go with bullet spray if i don't then leeching rounds and also if i got a test are leeching rounds again the sustain you get combined with test and this thing is absolutely amazing love it level 16 this is when things get interesting all of these are dps increases and all of these uh, depending uh, on how much dps they provide they are harder to play with now the safe option the best bet if you want to call it that is slit of hand Reduces reload time by 50%, this equals 20% more damage per second. So, if you're just learning out Tracer, okay, or if you bad, bad uh, if you got bad FPS and so on and so forth, then this is the option to go for. This is what I would recommend, okay? Stay with this one. Next one, Focus Fire. Uh, this is the weakest out of all the three from my point of view. If, if an entire ammo magazine is unloaded on an enemy, the last bullet will deal uh, extra damage. This equals to 30% of total magazine. Now, you might say that's a big deal, but there will be many, uh, a lot of situations when you will not be able to unload your full clip on the same target. Okay, that it's kind of a big if there. That's my problem with this talent. You'll find again yourself in many situations when you say, "Ah, damn it! I didn't get to reload the full thing on it. I didn't get the extra damage," and you and practically you wasted a level 16 talent. The next one provides the most amount of DPS, but it's by far the hardest to play with. Lock and loaded. Rea uh, reactivate reload within the last 50% of its cast time to increase your basic attack damage by 35% for that magazine. So 50% of its cast time, the last part, right? Look at this, guys. Uh, the normal cast time is 0 0.75 seconds and you get a bar on your screen and hopefully I'll get to show you in game. So your window is 0 0.375. That's small of a window to actually repress your D. You can make a macro. I tried it with a macro. Does it work? Uh, it's iffy. <laughs> okay, let's call it like that. It's iffy and I'm still not too clear on Blizzard's rule on can we use macros for our, with uh, our programmable keyboards and mice and so on and so forth, okay? So you can make a macro. Technically, however, that might be considered cheating, so I don't know. 
okay but clearly this provides the most amount of damage if you have great fps okay you're always constantly above 60 you're never dropping below that and so on and so forth and you're extremely quick on the draw this will give you the most amount of damage however it's clearly the hardest to play with again my recommendation for you guys lit of hand okay don't overcomplicate it no need to overcomplicate there's plenty of you to be uh, to pay attention to uh when playing tracer anyway level 20 uh get stuffed i love this one but sadly not that many pl players like it <laughs> uh, reduces uh, melee's cooldown by three seconds normally the cooldown of melee is eight so now we're gonna get five uh, hitting an enemy with melee who is stuck with a pulse bomb causes the bomb to instantly explode and knock the target away from you. Now, not only the the cooldown reduction is great simply because again, uh, W is uh, the fastest way to charge your pulse bomb, but also the combo you pull off uh, is bursty. Tracer normally is not really bursty. She sustains damage. Okay, she harasses to death. That's what Tracer does. Now with this one, uh, the combination between melee and the instant explosion of your heroic ability is also it's gonna depend on what you exactly you uh talented okay if you picked up quantum spike coupled with a melee instantly okay it's just gonna blow somebody up really nicely for example uh it can take an artist from 100 down to 60 percent okay just again from your pulse bomb which your w ability i love it okay and the knockback also cool again you uh might can be used as a get out of jail free card you can re-harass that target okay and so on and so forth love this ability however total recall currently is the most favorite option uh, out of obvious reasons Recall also heals you equal to the amount of health you lost during that time, okay? So during that 3 or 4 second window, depending on how you talented your E ability. Okay, you're gonna go in again to the middle of the enemy team. Back to our ideal situation. You're going into the middle of the enemy team. You're gonna drop your pulse bomb. You're gonna do your double. You're gonna take some damage. You recall out, you're back to full health. Insane, isn't it? So this is... Uh, kind of the most powerful option at level 20. My favorite, okay, this is just a personal thing, is get stuffed. Composition B. If you successfully stick a pulse bomb to an enemy hero, you can al uh, you also drop another one at their feet, deals 50% damage and explodes slightly earlier. This one is cool too, but it's kind of like the most least efficient because one, it depends on you sticking sticking it to, to the enemy, okay? And sometimes you'll miss, okay? The actual speed of your heroic, the projectile speed is pretty decent, but you will miss sometimes and therefore no value out of composition be a level 20 talent. When you do actually get to stick it to the enemy and actually drop a pulse bomb on the ground, they still have some time to get out of range. Okay, so you still might get no value. See, that's there's too many ifs with this specific talent. I would recommend you guys pick up Total Recall. And if you have want to have a little bit of fun and try it my way, get uh, stuffed would be uh, my recommendation. But again, Total Recall is like the way to go. Alright, normally we will skip the gameplay now, but we're not gonna do that right now. Why? What are you doing, Lazar? Haven't you talked enough? Well, no, not yet, okay? We're gonna skip the try mode, and I wanna show you guys something. Now, I've been starting streaming lately, and my FPS dropped, and I always thought, you know, it's the problem with, uh, whatchamacallit, with, uh my encoder or something like that i was looking in all sorts of directions even was looking at uh, trying other video drivers all sorts of settings and so on and so forth but much to my shame uh rather lately i kind of put two and two together and realized the problem is tracer uh tracer has a very very intricate a very very heavy aa animation okay look at my fps right now okay i tested this on three different computers and i tested it with other heroes just to make sure it's not a special case for tracer and it's not okay if you look at my fps now you'll see i'm hanging around around 200 right it's roughly around 200 now if i start attacking look at my fps now look at that insane drop in fps this is extremely poor optimization. Now, there's no real other hero who has a basic attack animation as complicated and as heavy as Tracer. But this is not acceptable. That's a huge drop in frame rate. That's not 5, 10 frames. That's like 30, 40 frames. Okay, and if I stop, you'll see that slowly but surely my frames will return to normal. Again, her basic attack animation is extremely complicated. There's tons of effects there. And this affects your frame rate. This is... The reason why my frame rate actually goes below 60. Okay, it doesn't happen on any other hero. And again, uh, the culprit would be the basic attack animation. Okay, I just wanted to put that out there. You guys might be interested in this uh, specific aspect. And considering Tracer is extremely is an extremely quick and highly mobile hero, this actually affects you quite greatly. I have a pretty good setup and I can't maintain the frame rate because of the basic attack animation. Again, it doesn't happen with any other hero. Uh, hopefully, Blizzard will get to optimizing. They, would, uh, they will. Hopefully, they will acknowledge that this is an issue and we will get some optimization uh, before the 
final release of Tracer, if we can even call it that. Anyway, I rambled on and off, skip it the gameplay right about now. Alright guys, so we landed on Dragonshire, my absolute favorite battleground, and we're gonna check out them teams. So, on our side we got Tracer, Tassadar, Frawl, Dehaka, and Nazebo. Now I'm cheating a little bit, okay? Just a little bit. I'm playing with my buddy Makana, we're duoing, and he's playing Tassadar, because as I outlined, Tracer plus Tassadar equals love. On the enemy side we got Nazebo, Abatur, Artanis, Rhaegar, and Falstad, so... I can teleport the Nazebo, I can teleport the Rhaegar, even the Falstad, and I can dance around our tennis. If he's not a very good our tennis, I can kill him as well. So yeah, that's kind of Tracer in a nutshell right now. We're gonna be picking up Slipstream as our first talent. Where the hell is my Tassadar? Why you go bot? Oh, you go bot, then I go bot. If he go bot, I go bot. Alright guys, so um, most of you are wondering, okay, is Tracer OP? Should I have her? Should I buy Tracer Laser Lero Lee Team Lake? Oh my god. Yes. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna make it simple. Right now she's a tiny bit too strong. Now a tiny bit too strong means a tiny bit overpowered. Uh, that is true. Yes, that is correct. Tracer right now is a tiny bit too strong. Uh, is it like Liming level of uh, bullshit um, as launch? No, not that bad. Not that bad, but not that far off either. Uh, she excels at... Oh god. Single target damage, alright? She doesn't have a lot of AoE damage, you can talent her to have some wave clear and sometimes it is recommended depending on the team composition, obviously. But as you can see, I can like come into a lane and force somebody off, just jump on them with my free blinks or two blinks or keep one blink or something along those lines. Uh, now, uh, hello, 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 flip me, flip me. No, you don't wanna flip me, okay, apparently he does not wish to flip me at this time. So yeah, she's a little bit, a little bit strong now, I'm expecting nerfs to what? Well, first off, the level 1 talent is so strong for level 1 talent. Slipstream, absolutely incredible for Tracer, definitely recommend it. Maybe a nerf to her reload time as well, we might be seeing that as well, I'm not sure at this point. Okay, 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 okay. Ha 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 ha, hi, hi chick. Chick can ride that false stat, my... Uh oh, he actually, Rhaegar came in to help. Come on, the Haka, hook, 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 hook. There we go, the Haka. Good job, man. Rico, bye bye. <laughs> First blood for us. Thankfully, the Dehaka there got the got the Q onto the enemy Rhaegar. However, on the bottom lane, we did lost Tessadar and we did lost Nazebo as well. So I'm gonna go there. I don't want to go for vision. Usually people look this way. Maybe he won't see me. Maybe he won't see me. Okay, he's got shield. The dance begins. However, he's got an aperture. I'm a deep, deep shit. Deep, uh, deep trouble. Deep trouble. I didn't mean the S word. The S word was not part of the deal there. Uh, I gotta go back. I don't have test star. 80 seconds on fountain. So I'm going back. The Haka, you can go in there, man. As low as he was, he must have gone back. As I thought, he did not go back. I didn't tell you that, the Haka. You should never listen to me. There we go. We got a kill. All right, I'm full. I'm coming back to lane. I'm going to head up to top lane where Frawl just hit there. The war chief is no more a war chief. Uh, not untouchable. Not for the... How cocky am I? Let's go with parting gift, okay? Uh, let's go with parting gift. Let's stay safe for now. Now, I don't know how many people are up there, so I'm just going to show some presence. That's all. Okay, I need Tassadar. Tassadar is coming to me, and together we shall wreck. And together, wreck we shall. Okay, I'm going in. I'm not playing around anymore because here comes the Haka. We're doing a lot of damage to this Rhaegar. The hook from the Haka will land the damage from me and Tassadar. And the Haka will secure the kill. And hello, Chicken Rider. False that. I didn't see you there. I would have focused a little bit more on you. Got our heroic charge up to the maximum. Alright, Monta. Oh, an Azebro. This should be fun. I want to get this before I fight the Azebro, though. Hi. Don't tell me you didn't see that one cup in Nazebo. Sadly, the damage there is not going to be enough to secure the kill on the Nazebo. But we did push him right back to Fountain or to Spawning Pool. Depending if he had cooldown or not. We're going to head to middle lane and try to alleviate a little bit of pressure here. No need, no need. We should be good going straight down the bottom lane where our Tannis, together with Aperture, are ca causing all sorts of problems. A lot of damage onto the Dehaka. I'm going to go on the back line. I'm going to LE right out because unfortunately we had issues there. However, my bomb did do some damage. Okay, we picked up Warding Gift. And that did some damage overall. The Artanis is dead. Hmm. I'm a little bit low. Okay, we got both. We got both. I'm in best position to take this. Fro, Fro, you go. Come on. I'm gonna just defend. I need to show people Tracer, man. This is like a Tracer bell guy. Would kind of suck if I pick up that. Oh no, here, come, here he comes. Gonna use my ability. My bombs will do a little bit of damage. Uh, landed root by the Fro. However, he is forced back now. Here comes our support. Tassadar, okay, gotta push back the chicken rider, chicken rider has been pushed back, has been pushed back, this is my freaking battleground, do you not know that, that this is my battleground, damn it my bomb, stupid bomb, see, you see the range on this bloody thing, okay, unupgraded, 
not so easy. Upgraded, easier. Okay, okay, okay. And E, parting gift will secure the kill there, I think. We'll see it on the replay, on the actual video, if parting gift was the kill there, if I got the killing blow or not. Those are the bombs, we're gonna track damage. Look at this, this is not even funny. Spatial echo, best option at level 7 at this point. This might also get a nerf, I don't know, I don't know. But they gotta do something, okay? They gotta do something because she is hard to play, that is correct, but she's so strong, so good. Look at this, look at this, okay? Look at the health of the Nazebo, okay, when we started. Just gonna dance around him a little bit, gonna dance around, and finally use my ear bulletin, get the hell out of town, that will do a lot of damage to him, and that will secure the kill. Keep in mind what health I had when I started working on the Nazebo, okay? She can 1v1 a lot, a lot of other heroes, guys. There are very few who she can't 1v1. Rainer, I had trouble with Rainer, okay? Straight up 1v1, full cooldowns, whatever, okay? It's hard to beat a Rainer. Okay, we got the Haka fighting Artanis there with an aperture hat. Here comes Nazebo from the back line. Spiders are a thing, spiders are a thing. Nazebo taking a lot of damage, good wall there. The Haka hooks and the kill will not land on our Nazebo, but instead, uh, Artanis will die yet again. Now, where should I go? Look, I'm coming, Frol. Just wait, man. Okay, Frol did land the root there. Unfortunately, I walked through something. Please tell me you didn't see me. Now, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna jump on this chicken rider. Damn it. I think one of my blinks didn't pop. I think I might have blinked into the wall. Might have been my bad there. Right, you wanna surprise your enemy? We're gonna pick up our level talents, uh, level 10 talents in a second. It's gonna be pulse rounds. I outlined why that is. There is no reason in their composition why I should be picking up anything else at this point. Gonna land it there. Pretty good. Gonna get out of town now. However, not enough damage on the Rhaegar, but he will be back in a way. I got the shield from Tester. Circling around, circling around to the Rhaegar. He does not know my full potential. He does not, not even I know my full potential. Uh, hmm, I can actually stay alone. I didn't expect for me to be able to stay that long. The kill on or Frawl did not see what that happened, where that happened. Uh, I gotta circle around a little bit. I'm just harassing from the side right now. Okay, there's a kill. I'm coming in. I'm coming in. I just need one more blank. Damn it, okay. Uh, we got doubles. We got doubles. They're pretty good. Pretty good. Where are we going? Are we going bot? Are we going top? Whatever. Uh, well, let's check some talents. Okay, these are talents at level 10, guys. We will review talents at level 20 as well at the end of the game. So, yeah, guys. If I didn't recommend Tracer, which I believe I did. Uh, get her. Oh, he wants to fight me? I'm, okay. I'm cool with that. Just get out of minions. Just get out of minions and we fight. If you're that silly, we fight, bro. Okay, let me get this. Let me get this from this side. I don't think you're smart enough to use your Q here. Alright. Rhaegar, huh? But a mount up, by the way, when you mount up, you actually get uh, full reload. I'm gonna wait for Rhaegar. Hey, W on to him. My heroic did land. Gonna blink right in front of him. Just stay with him. Stay with him at this point. Not enough, not enough, not enough. Parting gift. Not enough to secure the kill while false that rotates from the middle to the bottom lane. And Frawl dies again. Really? Really? You're trying hard, Frawl. You're really trying hard, man. I'm having a nice game over here. Going on to... Oh, the gust. The gust. Uh oh, Wolfie's coming. Okay, Wolfie gave up. He had some sense. I would have turned around on him. I would have turned around on him. Man. Uh oh, took some damage there. Going on to the Nazebo from the back line. Too many people here, but I still have my recall. Gonna use my E ability. The bomb will not land on the Nazebo. Crap. Uh, the bombs don't do damage to. Oh god, almost no cigar. The bombs cannot hit the same target. You have three bombs that they can hit minions, whatever. They don't prioritize hero as far as I know. On the bottom lane, Nazebo is pushing our very own Nazebo. Well, this very... This little Nazebo is taking a pounding. Taking a pounding. God damn it. God damn it, stupid Rhaegar. Stop hitting him. Let me kill him. Mm, mm, mm. Bomb on the Nazebo. Not enough. Parting gift. No. Nope. 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 Uh, the bombs you leave behind with parting gift kind of roll away a small distance. Not a lot. Okay, let's go for... A little bit of uh, oh, pfft. okay, okay, false stat. Sorry, I didn't see you were there. All right, okay, good. So, leeching rounds is what we're gonna be picking up in this case. So, we go fight false stat now. Oh, ha ha ha, tennis. Ne, 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 ne. <laughs> didn't happen. It's okay, Frawl is gonna come in and die again, I believe. Yes, here comes Frawl. Sees a 3v1. He doesn't care. Stunder gets interrupted. Makana tried to help out with the shield, and the Frawl dies. I'm so surprised. I didn't see that one coming at all. Mm -hmm. Not everybody plays overpowered heroes, man. Probably not. Don't let everybody change. Okay, we're focusing on the Artanis, which is a bad idea. Gonna use my E ability that's gonna do a little bit of damage. I need my heroic, I need my heroic. A lot of damage on to our very own the Haka, the Abatur there on the Artanis. I do believe they are a pre made. It's gonna deal a lot of damage. Here we go. And I'm gonna blink away to safety. <sighs> Got him. 
with your stupid aperture head. Okay, uh huh. I don't know what's going on. Hold on, hold on, I'm coming. I'm not going back as long as I can get a shield from Tastar. Maybe he will shield me before he leaves. <gasps> Holy shit! Is that a clone? That, that's a freaking clone. That's why he did that. I was wondering why, why, why would you? Okay, I got a shield right now. Good damage onto the Rhaegar. Gonna blink in his general direction, gonna use my ability to get out of trouble once again. So like I said, guys, should you buy Tracer? Uh, um, should you buy Tracer is not gonna be a clear yes. It depends, like I said, if you're quick on draw, if you have solid FPS and all that good stuff. Okay, because if you don't, it's gonna be hard for you. It's simply gonna be hard for you, okay? If you're not quick with Tracer, you're not gonna be able to do a great job. Or if you don't have a, again, a solid FPS, you're gonna have some problems, honestly. Okay, we gotta back away. The hack, the hack, this is a free V something, bro. Okay, you want me to harass him a little bit? You want me to harass him a little bit? Okay, I'm gonna harass him a little bit. I'm gonna harass him a little bit. You see, and like, remember when I said Tracer harasses to death? Uh, okay, that stopped in the wall. That stopped in the wall. Heroic use there by the enemy. Oh, oh. Oh, oh you're behind the wall! You're behind the wall? Why are you behind the. Oh. Oh, he's gonna kill me. He's gonna freaking kill me. I gotta turn around. I gotta turn around. This Rhaegar use my W ability. Heroic will land on Rhaegar and I'm getting the hell out of here. A lot of damage onto him. However, that's not gonna be a kill. He left with like 20% hit points. Look how much healing I got. Zebo, this time, this time you're alone. Gonna use my W onto him. Just stay in range. Stay in range. Stay in range. I know the spiders are on me. This is an interesting duel, is it not? I gotta blink away. Oh, pff, I didn't see you, bro. I didn't see him there. Very hectic match. Oh, come on. Come on, Dehaka. Easy mode. Easy mode kill. Where's my Tassadar? Don't worry. Wait for the shield. Wait for the shield. Wait for the shield. Mm. Oh, easy. Easy. Never was even worried. Never was even worried. I was sure of that outcome. Absolutely. No problem. All right, let's check damage. Let's check damage. This is not even funny, as you can see. Mm, all right, back to lane. Nazebo has everything in control on the bottom lane while we're gonna be picking up all level 16 talent. Slit of hand, like I said, is what I recommend. I'm gonna play a little bit dangerously. I'm working on being efficient with lock and loaded. I'm not too efficient. In a team fight, usually there's plenty of other things to worry about, but I do want to master it, and this is why we're gonna be picking up right now. Okay, you just saw me use my first opportunity there. Lock, and there's the bar, and there I activate it. Okay, you also get kind of like a sound cue. If you actually did it the right way, you're also gonna get a sound notification. I'm not sure if you guys hear it or not, because it's very slight. Okay, let's reload. No, no, we're full on ammo. Make sure when you're going into a team fight, you have it, you know? Okay, got it right. Look at the crits, look at the crits. If I get crits, that means I did it right. If I don't get crits, that means I doesn't, didn't get it right. I did land my heroic onto the Artanis. However, the, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, Ancestral Healing there helped him. Going on the back line onto this Nazebo, gonna use my ability and to get out of town. However, the bomb did not land. Going back onto your tennis. He's now fighting a 4v1. How much can you freaking survive, die? And reload. Okay, I got a right re reload. I got two blinks to charge. I need three blinks to kill that guy. Three blinks. <gasps> I didn't see you though. Here, have bomb to the face. Boom! Oh, you wanna fight me? You wanna fight me? Come on, come on. He doesn't wanna fight me. Alright. Wise decision not fighting me right now. Gotta get rid of these, reload, okay, and I got it. You have, uh, like I said, uh, okay, never mind, gotta kill. Got the reload, or didn't I? No, no, it didn't. Use my ability to get out of town, that will leave bomb, but bombs behind, unfortunately, none. Managed to secure a kill. Okay, we're gonna get out of here. We're gonna go top lane, and we're gonna play, what's he false that? I got shield, I got shield, I got shield. Where are you coming? I do not see him. Come on, look, it's Frawl. Easy to kill, easy meat. Go for him. Go for him. No? No. Okay. Going down the bottom lane. Oh, uh, these guys are securing that. Okay, don't, don't really need my help at this time. I still got the sh uh, sh half the shield from Tassadar. Okay, let's get back on health. Leeching rounds. Okay, we picked up leeching rounds. Look at them crits. Look at what the crits do now. Hmm? Tassadar plus... Tracer equals absolute awesome sauceness. Oh, poop! How about them reflexes? <laughs> Press all your buttons in the hope you will escape. I did get it onto the Nazebo. I did not get blind. Come on, stop it, Rhaegar! This Rhaegar is actually keeping them in the game, it's pissing me off. 
I need reload and okay. And perfect reload. Even a melee attack. How much more do you need to die? Go on in. For the kill. Come on. I was carrying the Zebo. Jesus Christ. You don't have to take it personally. Stupid spider. Okay, okay, I'm all good, all good, obviously, never even close to dying. Let's check stats, here we go, guys, this is obscene, is it not? I do have the support of the tester, okay, normally it's not this big of a difference, but you will get a difference in damage. Um, like I said, it's not Li Ming level of broken, but still works, okay, I can't, I cannot say that I'm not enjoying an overpowered hero, of course I am, who wouldn't? You know, but it's not ideal. Okay, we will get some tweaks. Don't worry about it. She's extremely strong against low mobility melee heroes. Uh, she can 1v1 a ton, a ton of heroes. Uh, there's very few she actually has problem against. I'm gonna wait for the Thrall to actually... Okay, now. Okay. W. Got my reload right. You gotta be quick, guys. The quicker you are, the more precise, the more fun you'll have with Tracer. But right at this point, buy Tracer. Enjoy Tracer. You can't buy Tracer. I know, I'm so stupid. Uh, in three days, you'll be able to buy Tracer. We're gonna be picking up Total Recall, okay? We're gonna go for the safe option, even though there's really no need. And keep in mind, I have all this damage without picking up Untouchable. And I didn't die once, so I could have. Oh, oh, a clone. Never mind. I'm not fighting a clone. Recalling. Hmm... Mm -hmm. Let's get a right reload. Okay, let's fight the clone. Why? Why are you fighting the clone, Laser? You just said you don't want to. Well, I have nothing else to shoot. And I like crits. See? Don't you like crits? I love crits. Crits are awesome. Uh, where's actual enemies for fighting? Oh, you're all alone. You know, Aperture can only do so much. Man. I recall so I don't get blinded. I got my reload right that time and that's gonna mean a kill. And another right reload. And dead. I call right reload when I actually get the bonus from lock and loaded. Okay? If you don't get the bonus, well, it's not a correct reload. How about I go solo on the bottom lane and fight that chicken rider? You guys would like that? Okay, I'm gonna go there. I'm coming, guys. Look, I'm here. Fight me. Fight me. Guys. 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 Nope. Okay, they don't want it. Uh, picking up. Ah, right, we didn't pick up total recall. I forgot to click on it. Oh, okay. Now, chicken rider. A lot of damage onto him. Not gonna be enough. Let's destroy this clone. Got a right reload there, and that's gonna kill the clone. Cool. Again, look for that sound notification if you're playing with sound. If you're not playing with sound, well, you're not really. There's there is a visual indication if you look at her guns when you reload correctly. See there. Some kind of sparkly stuff around uh, the tip of her pistols, but it's not really enough. And like I outlined earlier, I would rather it. Okay, let's use heroic there. I use heroic on the regar. I'm a little bit low. It's okay. I don't care. Right reload. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I didn't get my last reload though. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Tongue missed. Chase me, chase me. That's it, boys. Chase me. What? No chase? Come on. Come on. Why you don't fight me? You going for my Nazi, bro? You bastard! You chicken shit! Fight me! I'm gonna go for your Nazi, bro. If you don't go, for, if you don't go for me, see what happens to your poor Nazi, bro? Oh, he's gonna die. Tester can only do so much. Besides, Nazi, can't get health back with 50 attacks like I do. Uh oh, gotta save Makana. He'll never forgive me if I don't save him. Okay, good wall, good wall. We're gonna be good. By the way, when you mount with lock and load it, you also get the animation, so please be careful. Lock, load correctly. We have Nazebo dead. Well, I guess I can try. Hey guys, now I'm over here. Oh, hi, Tess. Got him. And right reload. 
This time might might actually be dead. I'm dead. Okay, okay. First death of the game. Obviously, we screwed around a lot, and our team didn't really give any fucks about us. But it's okay. It's okay. The Haka was getting the bottom uh, all important siege camp, don't you know? Uh, right, we are 20 minutes into the game, level 22 for us, 21 for the enemy team, and we haven't been really sticking to objectives, mostly because that is not my goal at this point, my goal was to show you Tracer in action, and I do believe I showed it quite nicely, you can even pull off better plays, trust me, okay, just get a little bit of practice with her, the more you play, the better you will get, 20 minutes into the game, I'm over 100,000 damage, and I have not even picked up AoE talents, such as, uh, bullet spray. Oh, good heroic there. Nazebo will die now. Wow, wow, they might actually win this one. Stupid. That might be stupid. Uh, Tessadar and me are gonna be 15 seconds down. The Haka might actually hit the dirt now. Yeah, he's gonna die. He's gonna die. He's gonna die. They're pushing for core. They destroyed top lane. Man, we had this. We had this uh, in hand all game. But not anymore, apparently. We got a few seconds. Here comes Makana. The Tessadar. Okay, shielding the core. Shielding the core. I gotta go straight for Rhaegar. Going for Rhaegar right now. Going with the Regar, going with the Regar, I need to get a kill on this Regar. Okay, that's a kill. Core is falling. Okay, Tassadar are still alive, sadly. Uh, not Tassadar, mm, Artanis. I even used my heroic man. With Aperture, he's so freaking strong. Okay, finally he died, but he brought our core down so low by himself. By himself, we gotta get dragged. We gotta get dragged. Let's play by the numbers. I'm gonna go straight to bottom lane and secure that. I'm gonna even signal. Now they have two. Ah, uh, they have two up. Yeah, Arnazibo is up now. It's such a nice push by them. It's okay. I'm gonna be fine. Don't worry about it. Let's reload. Right. Okay. I got my right Le reload. Uh. <coughs> uh. There might be a. Aperture around here. Nah, it's just his crap. Okay, right. Reload. Let's try to clear a little bit. I'm also gonna get a little bit of health. We got both tested are trying to secure, and tested are will secure that. Okay, cool. Let's make a right push this time. The problem is tested are is in the thing. Now, if tested are is in the thing, that means I get no shield. If I get no shield, I'ma die. I'ma die. They're scared of me. Come on, everybody, help the dragon. Look at this. Come on, help the dragon. Forget about that. Let's help the dragon. Uh, it's hard for me to go against our tanks. No, I can't get in there. I'll get deleted, especially without shields. Crap. Here comes our tanks, though. See? Like I said, without shields, insta deleted from the aperture. WQ both landed and the Artanis W, while our very own team backed away. And the dragon will not be able to get much done. He did get about 20-30% on the core, and now he is trying to make a run for it. However, these guys cannot kill Artanis with aperture on. It's too strong, too strong right now. And that might actually turn out in a full team wipe. That's gonna suck. Okay, that's a play. That's a play. That's letting you go. Just run. Now... They don't want to run, Makana still trying to shield, still trying to protect him. A lot of damage onto the enemy Artanis, but he's just gonna pop shield while the Thrall was chasing in the back line, trying to get a kill. Obviously, he will not do so, but maybe he'll be able to get away with his life. Okay, we're good, we're good. Good chunk by the Haka there onto the Artanis, the immortal Artanis. Kinda coming in, our very own Tassadar Thrall still not dead. Uh, clone used on, um, on Artanis, that's actually a good thing, because he cannot support the real Artanis now. Wow, two deaths. Felt so long. Felt so long because it was at the late game. Coming in, coming in. I'm up. Inazibo as well. He can do tons of damage. Here comes Frawl. Maybe a Sunder. Maybe a Sunder. I don't know. Gotta blink away. I'm gonna leave a little bit of bombs behind. Gotta go behind on the Nazebo. Doing a lot of damage to this Nazebo. Gonna land my bomb on him. Come on, blow, Jesus. Okay, one for one. Crap, I got the Nazebo, but I also died. I didn't see that all. Uh, Tassadar and the Haka died there. Come on, what the hell. That's a little bit broken, don't you think? The Artanis was very hard to kill. Maybe it's a very good Artanis, who knows? And he's trying to trick us with a skin. I'm just gonna put myself a little bit of a drink. And let me think if there's anything I forgot to say about Tracer. Okay, if you look on the bottom lane, we're gonna reposition camera in a second. You will see that the slug has been found. 
Okay, here comes Frawl. Bolt of the Storm away. Sunder, he just doesn't like Sunder. Maybe he doesn't like that spell, I don't know. Nazebo 1v2ing right now. Here comes the brave War Chief of the Horde, doing absolutely jack. Even the Haka will teleport in right now. The Haka's teleporting in, and he'll try to steal that. Oh no, no, he'll try to fight. He hooks uh, Rhaegar there. While well, Anders outplaying as he was getting destroyed by the clone, clone has been cleared out by the brave War Chief. While well, the Huckle make his glorious escape on the in the meantime though, we got this pushed really freaking hard. We gotta kill. Get again trying to be careful at my reload times. Mount up. Okay, this is tense. That Artanis is the problem. You guys are seeing this? Okay, Artanis is going top, so I'm going bot. I want to fight over this. Okay, I want to secure this. The Hulk are there in a lot of trouble. Okay, we got it. We got both. No, no, no. We don't have top anymore. Rotating, rotating. Oh, I see Rhaegar solo. Uh -huh. There's a slug around here somewhere. I did see him at the map at one point. Is he still here? No, he's gone. Nice push top. Yeah, we got a defender. Falstad is taking bottom shrine. He might fly to top. Okay, let's take him from behind on this Nazebo. Nazebo's dead. I'm out of here. Gonna pick up Fountain. We still have it. Oh, what a push. What a push. What a push. And finally, the Sundar, baby. The Sundar comes out. What a glorious try from the enemy team. I must respect that, they tried really hard there, but now it's the time, we actually can push the core! No, the Hakka stalking, he wants... Fine, if they want that, I, I, would, I would actually force the core fight. Okay, uh, never mind, if they don't want it, they don't want Look, 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 I'm taking, I'm taking, I'm taking. Don't let Tassadar, don't let Tassadar take it, let Thrall take it. Well, who's gonna shield us? Never mind. Okay, maybe we can make it work. Okay, it's been 27 minutes. God damn. We should have ended this a while ago. I actually got my reload on that one. Okay, let's go for core. This should be GG. Just attack the core. Pretty please. Let it be a win. Just gonna focus on the core, guys. Huh? And final bomb, and that's gonna be GG. Well. That took a whole lot longer than it should have. Okay, we messed around a little bit, but I was having fun, so why the hell not? So, let's wrap it up about Tracer. Um, if you're thinking about buying her, yeah, yes, she's good, but from my point of view, the nerf is almost guaranteed at this point. So, I, if you don't want to feel like, okay, I bought her exactly when they nerfed her, some that happened with Lee Ming to some degree, okay, and a lot of people were rather upset, and rightfully so, from some points of view, just wait a little bit until we get some tweaking, right now she's absolutely strong, okay, she will get some tweaking, that's guaranteed, uh, you can use her for whatever you want, pretty much, Hero League, Team League, Quick Match, whatever you want to go, just pick her up, she does have weaknesses, how do you counter, because I see in this comment, I answered it on stream a couple of times, you need targeted CC, and when I say targeted CC, I mean uh, Zul's Root, uh, and for example, Tyrael's Judgment, okay, I had a lot of problems with Tyrael's Judgment, while uh, if you actually are very careful with your E ability, and time it correctly you can even escape such situations uh and as long as you're quick you're gonna be all good in terms of survivability that's gonna be it for tracer if you got any sorts of questions about her let me know in the comment section down below i'll answer as best i can but in the meantime my name has been laser thank you guys for watching like favorite share and subscribe if you enjoyed the content and i'll see you again soon